Hey Space Cadets, Lanchin here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I prepare my oil paintings for a second layer of paint or for varnishing. So I just was working on this giant piece and I had to do this so I tried a few different techniques that I came up with on my own. So let's get started and I'll show you all the things that you will need right now. First thing you'll need is a lint roller. I don't know why, but I just think this is the best idea. I have cats. I have my windows open all the time. There's a lot of dust that gets collected onto my paintings because they're sitting in my room. And even if they're in the other rooms that don't have windows, they still collect dust. I try to keep my apartment as clean as possible, but there's only so much that you can do. So I think that a lint roller is the best step for like the first step you should take. So I just make sure that I have a clean sheet right here and then I gently lint roll the top. I also make sure to do the sides as well because that also collects lots of hair and dust. All right, so you can see that it's definitely a little bit dirty here and there is some cat hair on this, which is a good sign because that means that it collected some of the larger chunks of dust and hair that was lying on the canvas. So now we'll move on to the next step. I just wanna say before anyone gives me crap in the comments about using a lint roller that this is just my technique. This is just what I do when I'm prepping my canvases. Yeah, this is just how I do it. Uh, I don't know if, if I'm doing it wrong, let me know, I guess. But yeah, this is just my technique, so. Okay, so for the next step is I'm going to take this brush right here. I do have a specific brush just for my oil paintings, just for prepping them before varnishing that aren't used for anything else. There's no paint that's ever been touched to the fibers, so I know that it's clean. And, but I can't find that brush, so I'm going to be using this one. This one's only been used once, but it was used about probably like a year ago. So I'm going to be using this one just for the demonstration of this video. But I recommend that you use a brush that is specifically for cleaning your canvases only and just like leave that one to the side. What I'm going to do with this brush is I'm actually going to go against the grain of the brush like this. And the reason I'm doing that is because the fibers from my brush will get underneath any sort of dust or hair that is sitting on my canvas and it will just push it right off the edge. That's another reason you should use a brush that you don't normally use to paint with because it might get a little ruined doing this, but it definitely works really well. And if you're looking at this in certain light, you'll be able to see where there's some hair collecting and you can just pick it off as well and just try to make the surface as clean as possible. Another brush that's really great to do this with is a flat headed brush. I really like using these because this is a great way to pick out hair. Again, the same thing going against the grain of the brush and it just collects hair off the surface. It looks as clean to me as it's going to get. So let's move on to the next step. All right, so for the final step in prepping my canvases is to grab a spray bottle and thick paper towel, spray the canvas and wipe it off gently. These are really thick paper towels. They don't have, they have like very minimal shedding to them, which is why I buy these ones for my art specifically. And they are more on the expensive side. They're about $10 for a pack of six, but they will last a long time. And it's definitely good for painting with oil. And I think there are some other artist paper towels you can use specifically for painting, which I need to invest in, but this is currently what I have, so I'm going to use this. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my spray bottle and I'm going to spray the surface of my painting and wipe it down. And the reason why I like to do the lint rolling thing is because I feel if I were to spray it and wipe it down immediately that all of the grime and stuff would stick into the cracks of the canvas and then it would never be able to come out. So that's why I go through the steps the first steps before I spray down. So I'm just going to spritz down the canvas. The water is not going to sink into this at all because it is oil, so you don't have to worry about that. And then I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm just going to. Now, if you're working on a larger canvas, 
I say it's best to work from one direction to another direction just so that way you don't miss any sections of the painting while cleaning it. You'll also want to make sure that you clean your sides as well because when you're starting to work on an oil piece, if you have not cleaned your sides and your brush happens to hit an edge and collects a bunch of hair, it will drag all of that dust into your painting. So always make sure to clean your edges too. And if you feel it's still not clean enough, you can go ahead and spray it down again and repeat this process. Also, I know that some people use warm, soapy water to clean their canvases, their oil pieces, but I have not tried that method. If you have though, drop a comment below, let me know how that works out for you. But if you're working on a really big oil piece, you'll actually see that the water does collect a lot of grime that's on your canvas, even after going through the previous steps that I already have. So it really does work in cleaning your canvases. So this is what it looks like after. Obviously it was very, bright and vibrant before because it is oils, but the blacks are definitely not as faded as they were before because there was lots of dust covering this piece. If you still do manage to see some dust, you can go through with your flat headed brush like I was showing you before at an angle and just get off those certain pieces. And if you can't get it this way, you can always use tweezers, but make sure that you are very careful to not stab your canvas when you do this. But here's the reality of it. Dust is everywhere in the air, okay? I even have an air purifier that I keep around when I'm painting, but dust still manages to get through. There's, there's not too much you can do about it, and you can try your best to remove it, but it's okay if it's not perfect. Don't get too worked up if you find pieces of dust or hair in your painting. It's just, there's not too much you can do. You can only do your best in trying to prevent that from happening and that's that's all you can do. So if you wanna go ahead and repeat all these steps multiple times to try to get a cleaner surface, then you can go ahead and do that or you can just start varnishing or working on the next layer as is. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial on how to prep your oil paintings and let me know if it helped you. Let me know if you try it. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you wanna see more of my artwork like this, then you can find my work at Atlantian Designs on Instagram and uh, Space Cadets. I will see you guys next time. Hello.